keep you here with me on and on we see there's something we don't know you and my first love and i can ever let you go thinking of all of our time in the soft breeze not a lot of love can withstand what we went through you you make me dream Susan is off. We're going to follow them up the coast of Ramby Island just to go and anchor in amongst all the the reef at the top. This is like a migration of hermit crabs, isn't it? Yeah, I think they're getting away from the water. Do you think? Yeah. The migration song. How does that go, darling? Migration, migration, migration. migration. Learn about migration. Learn about the things that live in the sea. <laughs> Beach barbecues are one of the best parts of being a cruising family. So with the weather so still, we dingy to a secluded beach to spend the evening in great company with some slightly sandy sausages. Looking good, we're gonna cook some sausies, aren't we? Yes. Yum yum. Tic-tac-toe with a machete. across from uh, Rambi to Matai and we're having an amazing sail. So we're roughly 12 to 15 knots on the beam and we're going really nice which was unusual. Our um, electric winch for the main halyard's broken and um, I ended up having to do it by hand and surprisingly it wasn't that hard so. Raising the sail? Yeah raising the main so I was pretty chuffed about that. Uh, we've been at Albert Cove at the top of Rambi and that was an awesome anchorage. Really cool, awesome coral all around and it's, it looks quite exposed but when you get in there you realise all the coral that are around it, it's really quite protected. It's a great spot. Oh wow! What? Yeah. Yay! Thank you all leftovers. Corn fritters, chili con carne, coleslaw and is that just a, a wad of potato? Yeah. <laughs> so on the move today uh, we're going to head round the corner from the northern end of Tabiuni. Uh, we're heading round this gorgeous reef uh, to Kwamea. Uh, we have our friends uh, Fat Susan travelling with us, chugging along behind us. And we're hoping to find some surf breaks, aren't we Dave? Here we are, on the bottom of Kwamea, over here. Yep, over there. It's going past this huge reef at the moment. Yeah, cross fingers, eh? Dave yeah. needs to get a surfing fix. Yeah, I do. We've been here all this time and we haven't got the surfboards out. <laughs> and just for something new, we have come and anchored on a sandbank right next to a reef. We're going to have a look at the surf breaks and see if we can do our best impression of really bad surfers. I watched the surf for a bit and decided against taking the family out on the boards. The tide was just too low, exposing the reef. And with a lack of local knowledge, it was safer to just let the kids swim instead. The water actually looks like somebody's dirty swimming pool. Just with a, too much algae on the bottom. But I feel like our anchor chain is cleaning that. Our anchor chain is like one of those vacuum cleaners you see on the bottom of pools. <laughs> and our wetsuit is ready to go. This is our first day, people, of managing to dive all together. We've got Reef being looked after by the team on Fat Susan. So Reef's got his schoolwork ready to go. He's very excited about doing school on somebody else's boat. BCDs are all ready to go. OK, 
kids are doing it themselves, which is great. It's really cool that they can set up their own gear without us having to do it for them all the time. Zephy's hiding in the kitchen trying to put her wetsuit on before I film her in her bikini. <laughs> together was great but we planned to get moving again while Fat Susan decided to dive more from Viani Bay. So having moved quite quickly from Gamia to Viani Bay we moved again to Dakaniba, a quiet anchorage en route to Namina Marine Reserve but we'd see Fat Susan again soon. Look at those birds checking out our wind gear. Oh my goodness! Get off! We were amazed with how curious the red-footed boobies were as we approached Namina Marine Reserve and how stunning the reserve was. But one booby was unfortunate enough to fly into our wind generator, so we pulled him out of the water and returned him to shore to recuperate. Oh, he's just vomiting, that's what he's done. Oh, he stinks. Oh! He's just biting the towel. Okay, but that's not me. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does stink. He does stink. Yeah, we just had to um, throw overboard the. <coughs> <coughs> what it. Vomit. Regurgitated. <coughs> what it regurgitated up. <coughs> oh, yeah. And the smell's a bit much for me. Ugh, yuck. And you've been cut. Oh, slightly. By the bird. Yeah, he just gave me a couple of nips. Dave's busy filling tanks. Done. Yep, hopefully we can get out for a dive today. Look at this stunning day. So we've just left Mina Island over here. And uh, it was about 1.7 nautical miles out to the reef where the red triangle is right now. And we uh, just anchored on a sandy patch right next to the reef. And we plan on snorkeling and diving uh, a couple of chimneys that are here. And then the girls and I are going to come and dive this piece of coral bommy right here. Should be good. And we've been using this amazing product here in um, Fiji called Axiom Grease Stripper. God, it's good. I haven't come across anything as good as this for um, just defogging your mask. So the girls are doing that now. They're going to go for a snorkel around these chimneys. The boys have just dropped down now. We're using this surface marker buoy so that we can see where they are at all times. Oh, there's one. This is the second one, so I've got to drive back up to uh, the first one.
Have you guys been fishing this morning with a bucket? Yes. And what did you get? A needlefish. Oh wow, you did. That poor unfortunate soul. All right, I think it's time to let that little fish go. <laughs> oh, he's got cool eyes. Yeah. Do you think it's a new type? No. Yeah, can you let him go, please? Yes. Gently. Hello, batfish. Being frenzy. Yeah, I think these batfish are quite partial to a bit of cornflakes. <laughs> Whoa, where are you going? Oh, they're fighting. Of a cherry. Yes. <laughs> they're fighting over the cherry and the fruit salad. Awesome. Lobster piece. What do you think ate it? Octopus someone. So we're now back in Sabu Sabu after a rather lively sail back from Namina yesterday. But I think it's worth noting how good Namina Reef really was. Namina is a, a spectacular spot and the diving is incredible. So I'd been looking at a map that was on the Soggy Paws Compendium and it highlighted a whole bunch of different dive sites around the reef and without it I think I would have really struggled to find where I should be diving. Join us next time as we catch up with Fat Susan. Take a road trip around Vanua Levu, taste local chocolate and decide whether to return to New Zealand for cyclone season.